There we go. What's up, Benny Queen? How are you doing this morning? Afternoon. Whatever it is right now. Box of nickels. Ooh, 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 ooh. Nothing immediately jumping out at me. Nothing quite jumping out at me right now. I'll just have to get into it and see where we are. <clears throat> What's up, new Marshall? How you doing today? I'll tell you guys what, I just, I was, I was pretty much just exhausted yesterday. Then I went, went to bed, I, I don't know, probably midnight or something, midnight, one o'clock. Woke up about 7.30 this morning, which is about an hour and a half ago, my time. And, uh, yeah, it was just. I was just awake, so figured I'd jump on and just see uh, see what, what we got going on. Go through uh, go through nickels today. Going to the bank to get two boxes of halves. Good luck on those halves, man. Uh, but I haven't touched half half dollars in 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 my around my place, um, just because there there I know there's one guy that gets uh, four thousand dollars worth of half dollars every single week. Um, and he and he goes through them. So um, I know there's at least one guy that's that's really heavily hitting it, um, and I'm sure there's more. But uh, so I just stay away from him. Uh, I've had some really good luck with uh, with nickels uh, in the past. Uh, you know, buffaloes, uh, a couple of shields. Um, so I just I keep going through nickels because uh, um, silvers they're they're really not touched that much. What's up, Peter Bose? How you doing? So we're gonna go through uh, we're gonna go through nickels today uh, and see uh, see what we got. Um, one thing that I need to kick up is scope, just in case I have something that I need to look at. There we go. First boxes you searched through in eight years. All right. Well, good luck to you, buddy. Those right there. There we go. Um, I apologize if you guys hear stuff going on in the background. I've got my fan immediately behind me um, because that's where the window is. And then uh, my my one of my 3D printers is going uh, is going right now, so I apologize if there's like extra sound in the background. That's uh that's what we got. So 2004, 1986, 
So a lot of th um, I'll go through some of the things um, that I that I am looking for. Um, I am looking for uh, pretty much anything prior to uh, 1958. Um, I start looking at like the 1960s, um, and I'll pretty much keep everything prior to 1960, um, uh, just because of the age. Um, I, I check the uh, uh, the front and the back of each coin just to see if there's anything um, weird. Uh, that I have to look at uh, more closely. Um, I am on the West Coast, so Denver is uh, is super common to find for me. Um, let's see what else. Uh, obviously, uh, um, the 1940s, uh, there was silver nickels. Um, 1942, uh, late 1942 to 1945. And... Uh, there's a 46 Denver. Um, how you can tell if it was a silver, uh, struck on a silver planchet, 35% silver, is um, on the on the back of the coin, and there will be a large mint mark right above the, the building right there. That's um, how you know that you have a, a silver war nickel. Um, so silver war nickels, uh, buffalo nickels, um, I'm looking at uh, 2009s. I keep all the 2009s. Um, the there's a couple of years that have significant um, um, what do you call them errors, I guess, on them. Um, 2013 Philadelphia has one that is um, is struck on an incorrect planchet. Um, so it uh, at the bottom of the nickel, it the the part where it says United States of America is cut off. So that's on the 2013 Philly, I believe. And then 2014 um, Philadelphia, there is a lot of uh, double die reverses on um, right here in the center of the building. What's up, Jeepin? How you doing, man? So we will go through the through this box um, and see what it brings us. And then um, I figure... That, uh, that I will also do a giveaway today with some trivia later on. Sorry, phone I had to answer your mega doctor or something. Oh, okay. Oh, I hope he's, oh, I hope he's okay. Uh, my son has uh, has done that. Do I get a lot of? Oh, this means stupid. Nineteen ninety eight, sixty four. Nineteen sixty four. There is, um, especially the Denver's number one. There is a ton of nineteen sixty fours. Um, so you'll find those all over. But there's a possible RPM on the nineteen sixty four. Um, it should be pretty easy to see if it's relatively decent condition. Um, but uh, I have yet to find one. Uh, so we're just going to keep checking. Three, um, The Westward Nichols, um, that is uh, 2004, 2005. Um, I am looking for the P mint marks on the piece reverse and also the buffalo um, um, they have known DDOs on them. So. Oh, so, so I got a 2005 buffalo Philly Oh. 
Well, Penny, if it's just uh, if it's just bruising, then it should it should be all right, right? Nothing's broken or nothing is dislocated or anything or fractured. Well, it's good to hear that there's nothing that there's nothing major going on. So it's, it's always a it's always a bad feeling when when your kid gets hurt gets hurt. I've been there a few times. Sixteen. This is my uh, my son. He's a uh, he's fearless most of the time, um, and he's uh, he's gotten hurt before. It's just it's just hard because you you want to protect him. So much, but you also have to, have to let him, let him play and let him experience. You can't put him in a bubble. <laughs> 16, 17, 16, 2002, 73, doesn't. Give me the ARDB, see if the growth really says. He's going to be huge. Got a lot of growing to do. I'm also looking for some uh, some 2019s. Um, I found a few before, um, but I actually sent them over to Hidden Emicitist. Uh, he was looking for some, so I sent the ones that I had found before uh, to him. So right now, I do not have any 2019s. Not 2019 Danvers. Um, I also don't have any 2019 Philadelphia's either, but 64 Denver. It's wrecked. 2006. 14. What's up, Mr. Frank? Mr. Coon Dragon. Good morning, sir. Be almost afternoon for you. For you. Uh, no, man, I, I actually just started. I've only gone through like four rolls, so I don't think it's a I think it's a little bit too early in the in the deck. Ah! Excuse me. Um. 
Uh, but hang around if you want. Uh, I got uh, I got hang ups, uh, hang up, hang outs, hang outs, ups. Um, I got hangouts up. If you wanna, if you wanna jump in, um, I can kick you a link. Um, I'm gonna do a giveaway later um, for on some trivia. Yeah, I, I don't know. One of those things. Eighty nine, two thousand twelve, seventeen oh seven, sixty four, Denver. No extra memory. You sticking the cobwebs out. Yeah, I don't know. It's one of those things. Miss Linda Wallace, hello. Two thousand six. Six. Uh, hoping for some uh some 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 burf burf beef beef beefaloes. Hoping for some beefaloes in this box. That would be cool. Or really anything like that. Like some maybe some silver, some beefaloes. One, two, two, six. Maybe a proof. A DDR. A couple DDRs. Shield nickel would be pretty awesome. But you know. It's just whatever whatever the coin box brings us. That's die deterioration. What's up, Candy? Candy then. Candy. Two thousand nine. All right, so we got a two thousand nine D focus right there. That's where you're gonna focus right here. Do it. Yeah. Two thousand nine D. So I keep those because those are quote unquote lower mintage, um, compared to the other years of mintage around that. Um. Because you go from like over 300 million um, in the previous years to only like 30 million um, for the uh, for the 2009s. So it's 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 technically designated as a low mintage year, but uh, you know whatever. <laughs> Well, at least to, it, you know, at least you're you're trying to wake up and not still trying to go to sleep because that's that was my issue the other night. Is that I was, I was still trying to go to sleep at like seven o'clock in the morning. Nineteen ninety. So 2005, this is a D, Buffalo, Bison. I'm um, looking for it. There is a, a die scratch. It's not there. 2011, 18, 1986, Ninety-one, ninety-two, ninety-eight, two thousand seventeen, ninety-seven, ninety-four, ninety-four, 
2015 Philadelphia. Let's see if we got anything on there that stands out. Nothing that stands out. Most oh, well, there's a there's a die chip. The die chip and the O. Sleep is rough sometimes. Just to just a little bit. It's 2015 D. 2018. 2004 D. 2015 D. 2016. Oh, uh, Coin Dragon. Um, I I snagged, I snagged a coin this morning, um, just by by chance. By just, I don't know how it even uh, it even worked out, but uh, I am ninety five percent sure. That I snagged a snow twelve this morning. So, which of course I'm talking about the uh, um, the 1857 flyers. Because it's a, uh, it's missing the entire wingtip, and there is um, a clockwise doubling across America, which is snow twelve to a T. Um, and the best part is, is that um, I'm, I got it for like twenty bucks, but the doubling can be seen easily with the pictures that they put up. So I'm hoping that that's that that's legit. Because if that's legit, then that's that's another one off the list. Because right now I have uh, a snow three, four, eight, two nines, a ten, and a sixteen for the eighteen fifty seven varieties. It was just one of those things that I just I just happened across it and I'm like, hey, I I think I know what that is. So I, I grabbed my book and I was like, oh, that's 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 actually you know exactly what that is. I was like, well, it's only it's only twenty dollars. Well, I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it. What's up, Rodar? Feels a sixteen. Nineteen fifty eight. 1958 D. Yeah, uh, Roadrunner, I just woke up about an hour and a half ago. Uh, I actually got this box yesterday, um, but I was saving it to do uh, to do a live box today. So I figure I'll do a live box and then I'll do a giveaway um, after the box is done. So I figure there's uh, there's some people that uh, that are up during the during the day. It's still it's still morning for me, um, but I know, especially like East Coast. Like uh, like Coin Dragon, it's pretty much in the middle of the day for him. What's the temp at right now, Coin Dragon? I think it's still in the seventies right now for us. A two thousand twelve thousand two thousand. It 
Frank's a Yankee. Sixty-four Philly, ninety-one, two thousand eighteen D. Let's see, twelve P. Check that one real quick. Seven, eighty, two thousand thirteen D. Sixteen, two thousand four D. Pizza Eighty. Oh, 2005 Philly, which has a possible double die on the obverse if it wasn't jacked. It was 1886. It was 16. Here was a 1957, but it's pretty wrecked. Front and back. Um. The only thing that I found so far in this box is a 2009, 2009D. So, um, basically, uh, those are those are almost common um, in my area. Uh, the boxes of nickels that I get, um, nickels in my area are not searched. Um, they're not searched uh, pretty much at all um, because I can get uh, I can get buffaloes out of it. I can get silvers out of it. Um, I can get uh, I can get double dies. I can get a lot of um, good coins out of the the boxes of, of nickels that I pick up because I know you know I know nobody is is really searching them in my area. Um, so I usually have pretty good luck with the, with the boxes. Uh, West Coast. I'm in Oregon. Eighty three, eighty eight. Two thousand seven, two thousand six, two thousand two thousand four, two thousand eleven, eighty eight, two thousand, two thousand sixteen, eighty one, two thousand eighty one, ninety, seventeen, two thousand eleven, Philadelphia. I always check the Philadelphias um, because they usually have more um, opportunity for uh, double dies and errors than. The um, then the Denver's is just a just a matter of, of fact for them. 1857 Denver. 57 Denver. I'm looking for um, anything. Um, looking. I'm not really seeing anything on the Denver. 16, 2000, 15, 2018. <clears throat> um, the, uh, I get S mints in the in the nickels, um, just in the like the in the business strikes. Um, I have gotten a total of, I think, a six to seven proofs um, out of um, out of uh, rolls before. Seventy-seven, two thousand thirteen. Like uh, out of the like the the business strike S, um, I've already gone through. I think four of them just in this box. Oh, there's an oldie right there. Nineteen forty. Mint mark S. So I got a nineteen nineteen forty S. So that's that's a good find. I'll set that one aside. It's a vintage of my 1940s.
What is the mintage on 1940 S? So 1940S has a mintage of uh, 39.6 million. So not really, not really rare, but not really common. Um, generally, if they're under 10 million, they're lower mintage. A really nice 61. Yeah, this is a clean 61. I like this one. <laughs> It's a 61 Denver. Those, those nicer ones that for some for some reason are uh, sharp strikes. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, look for the big ass. So the 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 19 it's the 1941s that have uh, the small S and the large S, and I actually have uh, some of both. In the uh, in my uh, in my folder up here, I went through and I separated out the large and small S's. Philadelphia, 96, 2011, 2014, 17, 2008, 94, 2008. San Antonio, uh, Well, there there isn't a, a mint in San Antonio, so it would be San Francisco. Um, but they would be they would be proofs in two thousand nine. It wouldn't be uh, business strikes. Listen to Philly. Uh, I have a nice red. Oh, Lincoln. Lincoln Wheat Set 41. Yeah, that would be kind of that'd be kind of cool to have. I haven't checked my my 40s um, at all. It's a nice 64. I'm looking for extra thickness on the letters. I'll have to set that one aside later. I've got a 64 Denver, but it's really clean, and especially the back. Most of the 64s, because they're so heavily produced for the nickels, they are just wrecked. But this 64 still has a lot of, of really good field in it, and especially the mint mark over there. Um, with this kind of condition, looking for any signs of an RPM, whether it's uh, tilted, rotated, or anything, is going to be a lot easier. So I'm going to set this up. Uh, I'm gonna set this one aside and look for look for that one later. Yeah, the the 2009s I have almost at, well probably a closer close if not over three rolls of 2009s um, that I have or a total of of three rolls of 2009s that I have found in in boxes um like the the last i think the last box that i did um i had four 2009 denvers so i just i just hold on to them because reasons 2017. uh um a little bit um pollen count is uh, is kind of high oh 42. So the question is, is it a 
silver or not no 42 Philly so 42 is a good year because it's a it's also a transition year um, the beginning of 42 they were struck on just the regular nickel planchets um, and then later in 42 they transitioned to the silver planchets um, but 42 also has a D over horizontal D um, on uh, on the Denver minted ones. So I'll set that one aside. It's a 40s. That's 18, 2001, 68, 68D, 16, 2010, 64. Sorry. Um, 64, 91, 2006, 2017, 1990, 2018, and 2006, 2004, Denver, 2014, 2011, 98, 2002, 13, 2, 2, correct, 2005. What's up, cousin, cousin Jeff? Let me just mute this for a second. Yeah, Roadrunner. Um, I set aside all like the, especially all the forties, and I go back and I look for uh, DDOs and RPMs on them. <sighs> Hoping for some good stuff. This the this box eighty, two thousand five D. 2005p bison reverse it's a possibility of a ddo on a front 1980 a 57 and it's wrecked always 2006 one of the things that i that i find actually really interesting is out of all the boxes that i've gone through the 1970, 1971, sorry, um, the 1971 Philadelphia, I just cannot find them in boxes in, in decent condition. Every single one that I find is like severely like just, just foobar. And I thought that that's really kind of interesting. Like obviously one, um, Phillies in my area are going to be hard to find anyway. Um, because I'm on the West Coast, which makes sense. But why specifically that a uh, really, I, I, you know, a regular mintage year, uh, like 71, uh, would just have, you know, that would just, that it would be hard to find. It just, it baffles me. Six. What's up, Bill457? How are you doing today? 2005 D. I'm looking for the spear. It's like every, every single like 71 Philly that I find basically looks like they get it got run over by a dump truck. And it just like it completely baffles me that that's that's one of the few that that just like if they get to my area then they then they're already wrecked. 1990, 2012, 2099, 93, 
76, 64 Philly, is 14. Um, one of the last boxes that I got, um, I actually had, well, the last, sorry, the last two nickel boxes, each one had a 2014 Philadelphia um, uh, DDR in them. So that's, that's cool. 76, 15, 9, 5, 82, 16, 12, 96, 98, 83, 2001, 13. A 79 Black Beauty. Um, most of the Black Beauties are in the 50s. But that doesn't mean that they can't exist elsewhere because it's just a uh, an improper, improperly annealed planchet. She never. Last box of quarters. All seventy one P and D were dumpster fires. I, I'm. I'm glad that somebody else experiences my my 71 dilemma. Surprised there aren't more Canadians. Um, I actually... Uh, I hit a decent amount of Canadian nickels, uh, believe it or not. Um, and then I always check the machine when I go to, when I go to dump coin. Um, and uh, I'd say maybe once a week... Maybe twice a week, I'll pull some Canadians out. But there, there are some, there are some coins like this one right here um, that I keep um, just for the sake of of like the colors. So this one is is obviously it's toned front and back, and it looks like that it hit uh, that it sat in some oil. Um, but like it has like a complete rainbow. It's darker. Um, to start off with, but it's, you know, it's got some yellow, some blue, some green, some brown. Um, it's, uh, you know, it's it's one of those things. Miss Youper. Yeah, you did hear Canadians. Canadians. I was talking about uh, some Canadian nickels, but I still get them in rolls. That's 13, 16, 98. That's 16, Philly. Thanks for stopping by, cousin Jeff. Appreciate uh, appreciate you dropping in. Ninety six, two thousand six, two thousand fifteen. D, 17, 77, 16, and 12. We got 83, 17, 12, 64, 86, 2002. What's up, Cornwall Craig? How are you doing today? 2006. 18, 2000, 2000, 67, 15, 16, 2000, 2015, P, 2005, D, 11, 14, D, 18, 13, 96, 64, Denver, Machine, 2008. <sighs> <clears throat> I 
Uh, some other uh, some other stuff that uh, that we were uh, that we were talking about. I, I believe that uh, we are going to have a a sale, another sale show um, this Saturday. Um, so if you guys are interested, uh, stop on by. Um, I don't have the time just yet, um, but uh, I will hopefully be getting it up in the next uh, in the next day or so. Um, because today is Thursday, so that would, that would make sense. So I believe that we have three or four channels that will be uh, that will be involved in the in the show this round. So that'll be a that'll be a good time for everybody. Uh, lots of different um, selection uh, of coins. Uh, so I'm excited to see. Um, how that turns out. 70S. 62. 86. 85. 76. 89. 90. Yeah, Bill uh, 457. I'm, I'm hoping it will be. Um, the last one turned out pretty good. I'm, I'm happy with the results. Um, it gives a gives a you know a good option for uh, for smaller channels um, like myself to uh, you know just to have uh, have a little bit of time. Absolutely, Amy. No problemo. Um, just because I, I know as a smaller channel, it's hard. To um, to find a good time um, to to stream something like that, so um, you know, really coming together as you know as multiple channels at one time, I think is is just a it's a really cool thing for everybody involved. It works out really well. There's good flow between items, and there's enough time for each. Um, channel to uh, sell one item and then you know do do the admin work behind um, behind the scenes um, without stalling stalling out the uh, stalling out the sales Um, Bill says I want to do an auction. I have a coin shop for this stuff. Uh, yeah, if you want to get in on the next uh, on the next round, uh, I'm sure that I'll I'll be I'll I'll be running a, another one, um, especially if this if this. Um, this last one is, uh, or this next one is as successful as the first one. So, so the the basics of it is that we use uh, Google Hangouts, and we have like three or four channels in on one, uh, uh, um, basically broadcasting, streaming at the same time. Um, through through one channel and um, so each channel has their own you know has their own stuff that they that they bring up for for sale or for auction um, and uh, you know it, it's just it's just an avenue to uh, you know for each for each person to, to sell their you know to sell either extra stuff that they have if they're you know, kind of overloaded on coin. They can sell through some of the stuff, and like, there's. It's just a really good, uh, really good setup. I think. 2017, 2000, uh, One of the other coins I'm looking for is I'm looking for the 1975, um, the 1975 High Five. 
um, and what that is is that is a mint mark that is out of um, its specified area that it's all the way up next to the five um, on the uh, on the 75s which the mint mark is on the front so if I ever find one of those and definitely hold on to that because it's a it's a really neat neat deal to find one of those Sixty-five Denver. Yeah, sixty-three. There it is. Two thousand five Buffalo. So DDO on the front. Nope. And anything on the back. Two thousand sixteen seventy-seven ninety ninety D. 86, 2018, 15, 83, 70s, 58 Denver, 58 Denver, I'm not seeing any splits on that serif. The, uh, I, I don't even try the quarters. I went through like two or three boxes of quarters, uh, Bill, and uh, I can't even find any 2019s, let alone any, any Ws, so I just, I just, I don't even I just don't even try because this this was um, this was only a few months ago and like the, the like the biggest thing was is like I wasn't even getting any 2019s and they were already coming out with like the third series so I was like well if they're coming out with the third series of the the coins and I can't even get any 2019s then Dude, it's and it's just not happening. So I'm not even going to use my resources for for the W's because they just they're not even in my area yet. And I think uh, I think the the quote unquote mix. Um, that they did was uh, was garbage. When they just poured the things in there, that's not mixing them into the into circulation. That's just putting them in one area. Fourteen and three, fifty-eight Denver. You found one and change from your mom. That's you're lucky though. Sixteen, sixty-four, Denver, wrecked. Yeah, that's the, that's that's what I'm saying, Bill. Is that they're they we're gonna mix these in circulation? No, they're just going to put them in a bag, and wherever that part of the bag goes, that's where all of the W's will be. So they're not actually mixing them into circulation; they're just dropping them in circulation. There's a big difference. One second. I'm just saying they're they're 
they're they're like the distribution is is messed up because like uh like silver nitrate um got a box of uh of 2019s um even before i could so you're saying that that um i can't even get a box that has a single 2019 in it but uh hawaii a state in the middle of the pacific ocean can get a can get a fresh box of 2019s i think that's kind of garbage Nineteen forty. Whoops, I just dropped it. Um, but it is an S. So that's my second nineteen forty S in this box. So it's, it's a it's been a decent box so far, at least. Eighty three, eighty six. And yes, I I am a uh, a little bitter. That I can't find a 2019 on the West Coast. I'm just saying. 2018. 2016, 76, 16, 18, 18, 82, 83. Hey, look at that. I like that color. We have a silver, silver in the box. Denver Mint Mark. Let's see what year is it? Nineteen forty-three Denver. Yeah, buddy. Nice. I like a. So there's a silver. So we got a 2009 and a silver in this box. So that's and that's and, that, and that's what I was saying about earlier is that my area is not searched for um, for coins um, in nickels. Um, 2006. just. It's got a. Oh, okay. It's um. Die deterioration. Looks nice, but it's a. Uh, it's all pushed out. Eighty-eight. Two thousand eighteen. Two thousand five. Two thousand two. Eighty-one. Seventeen Denver. A lot of like late seventies to early nineties is, is the like the bulk of what I get. Halfway between New York and Boston, and my bank is still getting 2018s. Yeah, I mean, a, a lot of it, it just depends because, like, the, the way I figure is that the way that the money moves, like, all of the 2019s are going to be hitting the Federal Reserve banks, and there's going to be a lot of immediate draw on them, which is going to grab those, those, those boxes, those fresh boxes first. 
and then as you know as circulation as the re as the demand continues then they start hitting the older boxes that have been sitting there um that's that's just what i figure in my head because i don't i just i don't see um banks um going oh hey i was looking for these 2019 denvers it's kind of a rough shape but uh so that'd be the uh i believe the third one that i found um i don't see the uh the federal reserve banks um going with the uh the first in first out program I just I, I don't see them being being that efficient versus just grabbing whatever box is sitting there, which happens to be the last one in. Two thousand six, two thousand sixteen, two thousand fifteen, two thousand six, nineteen eighty one, got a Denver, two thousand six, two thousand eighteen. And sixty three, two thousand twelve, two thousand fourteen, seventeen, two thousand eighteen, eighteen, Denver, nope, um, seventy two, Denver. 87, 83, 70, 96, 64, Denver, but no DDR. 99, 2016, 2012, 18P, 2006, 77. That's not a bad 77. It's kind of scuffed up, but I mean, overall, it's got a decent start to it. Um, new box of 2016, six months ago. 2016 quarters or 2006, what, like what denomination, Greg? Because there are some collectors that get uh, original bankrupt rolls. So if you weren't, if you were looking to get rid of them, you might be able to, uh, to, to sell them. Carson City Mint is having a 150 year anniversary. Yeah, they are, they um they're only striking. How many is it like? There's like the first 200 is only for the event, and then they'll be releasing it afterwards. But uh, um. But yeah, I mean they they have a they have a special event going on. Um, NGC and eBay are teaming up that you can basically buy a grading service um, from uncertified coins on eBay. So here here's my thought on on that. Um, all of those error coins that that people are posting um, like are those are those scammers um, going to be punked out when the coins that they say are error coins come back as not error coins as just damage is that that would be the first thing oh hey there we go 2019 Philadelphia. How about that? So I got a 2009 D and a 2019 P. 2019 D, 2019 P. There we go. So I got a, I got two, two new ones, a silver and a 2009 in this box so far. What I'm talking about. 
Now I just need to find a buffalo. Basically, if I if I hit for the cycle, um, then that is getting uh, 2009 a buffalo and a silver. Is my hitting for the cycle? Hold on, I need to check this one. Guess what, guys? 2014 Philadelphia, and it is a DDR on the reverse. Let's see if I can show you. Do, 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 do. Um, I'm going to go here. I'm going to change this. I'm going to kill this. And then I'm going to go to here. And... Tell me when you guys see it. Right there. See the extra doubling on the uh, on the top of the roof right there. That is one of the things that you can look for for the 2014 um, Philadelphia because they have they have it there. This is actually the strongest one that I've seen here because most of the time it's down here in the doorway and it's very faint. But this is a very strong, um, very strong uh, DDR. So, heck yeah, we'll take we'll take a DDR on this all day long. Hello. There we go. What's up, Oz? How you doing, man? Two thousand eighteen. Two thousand fifteen. Two thousand three. Two thousand three. Two thousand three. Okay. Okay, diet deterioration. Right. Then 76, 2018. I'm good, man. Um, I went to bed shortly after your stream. And then I uh, woke up uh, pretty pretty rested at like uh, about, uh, about 7 o'clock this morning. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get up. I'm going to go to the store and get some breakfast and then uh i'll uh see how i feel and maybe open this box of nickels do a live stream on it and see what we get up we get out of it it has uh is not disappointed today that ought to be good dragon Kill some of, some of the humidity that's in the air. That gets that gets brutal after a while. The humidity, like that's one thing that like I could not like live in Texas because the humidity would just make me go to sleep all the time. Okay, what do we got? We got ninety one, two thousand four. 2014, 1685. Okay, let's take a look. Um, 17, 2006, 15, 98, 2005, 18, 97, 79. Hey, AZ Coins. Um, going very good. Um, we got uh, a 2019 Philadelphia, a 2019 Denver, um, a 2009 Denver, a, uh, a 43 um, uh, silver nickel, 
And then uh, 2014 Philadelphia Strong uh, Double Die Reverse. Uh, so uh, Nickel Hunt is going very good today. Very good today. It's always nice. So now I'm just hoping to, to hit for the cycle and get a uh, a, a buffle a buffler a buffler in the box because that's uh, pretty much would uh, would complete it. 16P, 2005, 94, 17, 17, 4. <coughs> Ouch. Ooh, sorry. Sorry about that. That's uh that that snuck up on me. What's up, Blues? How you doing? Thanks for dropping in, Roadrunner. I'll probably talk to you uh, uh, here later this afternoon for me. Thanks, Craig. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. Okay, 16, 10, 6, 17, 18, 74, 11, 86, 97, 2007, and 99, 80, 17, 94, 2016, 84, 2017, 74, 89, 74, 16, 4, 12, 64, Philly, 2002, 2000, 1000, 77, 64, 64, what's that? Uh, 64 Denver. It's just damage. Okay. There was a there was a big like scratch or something on the back of that uh, of that 64, but it was just it, it's just damage. It just looked kind of weird because it was dragged across the surface. So what uh, what's the temp like um, where all you guys are at? What are the temperatures? Buffalo. That's a good looking buffalo. Is it is what is it right now? Like seventy, about seventy, seventy seventy three, I think. And it's uh it's it's a little bit warm. It's muggy here. <clears throat> there's uh there's like a, a high uh, um uh system coming in on the west coast. Um so it's all like super muggy. Yeah, so I got uh I got another one, it's a Philadelphia. Um, but it is a 1940, uh, so I'll keep that one too. So I got three in three coins in the 40s today. 56, 11, 85, very humid. 85 and 64 Denver and 
No DDR. 71D, 61. Eighteen seventeen two thousand three eighteen three sixteen seventeen sixty nine Denver eighty four eighty four eighty nine eighty eight eighty three two thousand fifteen sixteen seven eleven and ninety. Nineteen sixteen nineteen sixteen what? Nineteen sixteen penny quarter dime half dollar twenty cent. Oh, I'm just good. The Buffalo, that's a D eighty seven to ninety one two thousand seven eight ninety six. Um, 2014, 18, 2018, 2015, 70, 94, 98, 2007. I might have to switch boxes here soon. 74, 14, 77, 2007, 2006. Some of these I can go through pretty fast because they're like in the between the 70s and the 2000s, and there is really just not a lot of anything that is in that that date range for nickels. <laughs> okay, S since it's since it's you, I'm going to assume that it is a. Um, a 1916 Woody, um, um, either two, uh, two cent or, or, or penny. Because I see you kind of going back and forth between those two. But I'm going to say, I'm going to say penny. A Lincoln cent is what I'm going to say. Two thousand sixteen Philadelphia. Two thousand sixteen. Nineteen forty six. Two thousand sixteen. So I got a nineteen forty six. Um, I see some dye deterioration and uh, no mint mark. So I'm gonna toss that one back because I have plenty of nineteen forty sixes. Two thousand five, Denver. We're looking for the two thousand four piece reverse. That is the Philly that has the double dive on the obverse. Eighty-four humidity, seventy-eight percent. Dude, that is that is just uncomfortable. <laughs> that is uncomfortable, straight up. It's like you take a shower to make you feel better, and then you walk outside and you instantly have to take another shower. Because you're you're just drenched with humidity. Yeah. Two thousand one, ninety seven, ninety six, ninety six, two thousand four, two thousand two, ninety three, two thousand fifteen, ninety two, eighty three, two thousand sixteen, five, two thousand five. 1890, it's not in bad shape, 92, 17, 92, Denver, 16, that one's just wrecked. What do you think? Just, it's just a, it's like a 76 or something, but it looks like, get ran over by the truck. 
ran over by the trunk. 2017, 1698, Already 98 degrees? Oh, jeez. Dude, you guys are you guys are just making me uh, making me uncomfortable now. <laughs> way too too humid and way too hot. And the sad part is, is that we're not even like fully in the middle of summer yet. Like, wait until it gets in, in like was it next month? Um, next month, and it's you know it's gonna be like like ten times hotter. 81, 2018, 71. So here's here's what I mean by um, um, by this that 70 the 71s. Um, this is what I get for the 71s. Like that's a 71, and it looks like it got ran over, and it's got the ring of death on it. And this is what I find for 71 Philadelphia's. This is cons pretty consistent with what I find on every single 1971 Philadelphia that I come across. It's just, they're always wrecked. 2018, 6, 6, 99, 79, 77. Hey, that's not a bad 77. I might keep that one. Still got some decent luster, and this got good fields in it. The 77 Denver. That's not bad. Not bad at all. 86, 94, 90, 2005, the Spear, 2010, 69. 17, 16, 2002, 93, 90, 73, 2014, 79, 2018, 18, 72, 84, 2000, 16, 98, okay. Do, 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 do. Pile this up. Do, 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 do. Okay. Give me one second. I'm going to switch boxes here. I'm going to take these rolls out and just finish using this box. I usually try to use the um, um, the nickel boxes even if I'm doing like pennies uh, just because it's just a bigger box to put them into and I can usually hold them better. Um, when I'm taking them back, but it uh, doesn't always happen like that. So I'll pour the uh, all the coins into this nickel box when I'm done. 2011, 2006, 2016, 2016, 2006, 18, 63, 83, 77, 90. 2005 What's up Lincoln? How you doing man? Yeah, Linda, if it's if it's if it's anywhere near a hundred, I am inside. Period. 
I don't go outside. I don't go in the sun. Nothing. Because I am, dude, I just, I just melt. Like, I get sluggish. Like, it just, the heat, the heat and I do not get along. I would rather be, like, a little bit cold. Um, just because, like, I could, I could throw on a jacket or something. Um, and be perfectly okay. Um, versus, um, versus the heat. Because I just, I can't, I can't do heat. Heat and I do not get along. In the slightest. Two thousand ninety nine, two thousand, two thousand Philadelphia. Once it's the same I have to check to see if I if I have any of those saved up. Nineteen forty nine. This one I am going to kick back because it's in it's in rougher condition, uh, and it's a Philadelphia. But it's still cool to find, you know, coins this old, uh, still in circulation, and it still proves that uh, that uh, my area is not searched in terms of nickels. Two thousand eight, nineteen seventy nine, two thousand seven eighty eight, two thousand four D, two thousand fifteen, okay, nineteen fifty four. So nineteen fifty four has a possibility of having an over mint mark. And I'm going to have to check that one out later. So I'll set that one aside for now. See if I can determine if, if, it's, a, if it's an over mint mark. Because um, I have found one. And uh, I believe there's, there's an over mint mark in the 53 and an over mint mark in the 54. Like I just yeah the, the, with the the heat thing I just I can't I can't do it. It takes so much for me to cool down that I just I feel I feel disgusting like all of the time. And like if I could if I could just you know I I can warm up like ten times faster then I can cool down and I am perfectly fine wearing you know sweatshirts and coats you know even you know even having multiple layers versus um versus trying to strip off layers to cool down just just not how i work and especially like at night um i would rather have it cool i sleep much better when it's cool um than when it's warm i just i have a heck of a time trying to um trying to get to sleep when it's warm does not work for me that's for sure oh hey <laughs> you guys come on nineteen forty three Philadelphia so we're we're double silvers to the box what's up Clinton s Double silvers for the box. And that one looks like that it might have an RPM on it. That would be good. That would be very good. That one might have an RPM on the mint mark. I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a three over two. Nope, it's not a three over two, but it definitely might have a have an RPM though. I'll have to check that one out. Awesome! So double silvers, 
Come on, all we need is that buffalo. All we need is that buffalo nickel, and we will hit for the cycle. Should be awesome. Be so, so awesome. Yeah, it, I mean, free silver. Like, how can you, <laughs> how can you be wrong with free silver? <laughs> Um, if that one is an RPM, it would be the first silver nickel um, that I have found that has a repunch mint mark, which would be super awesome. Because I found lots of uh, lots of silver um, in circulation, but no uh, no RPMs on the silver. All right, what do we got? 2006, 2002, 2018, 1980, Denver. 2006, 96, 87, 2018. Parking lot coin, 2006, 97, 2006, 95, 97, 89. More parking lot coins, sixteen, fifteen, ninety five. Two thousand fourteen Philadelphia. Let's see if we have a uh, if we have a DDR on the reverse. No, no double dies on this one. Uh, so just as a reminder, guys, um, there is going to be um, a giveaway after this box is done, uh, which is in approximately six and a half rolls. Um, I'm almost done. And then another note is this Saturday we'll be having a sales show, a multi-channel sales show. Um, so look forward to that. Um, I don't have a time exactly, um, but uh, I will be posting um, the agreed upon time in uh, in the YouTuber coin community um, on Facebook. And uh, I'll be letting you guys know. Um, as soon as we get that uh, dialed in, um, but we have some uh, we have some good uh, um, some good people um, that is going to be part of the show this time. Uh, I think we may be up to four channels, um, possibly five. I'm waiting to hear back on one. So yeah, so look forward to that. Uh, it'll be it'll be a good time, and there will be a lot of different. Uh, uh, a lot of different coin uh, being brought to, brought up. So look forward to that. It'll be good. Yeah, that's 14 Denver. 97, 18, 17, 19, 90. 18, 7, 7, 79, 84, 24. 15, 73, bring it death in, 2018, 71, 64, Denver, looking for the RPM on the back, no RPM, 95, 64, wrecked. This is a 2005 Philadelphia, which has a possibility of a double die on the obverse, and nothing there. Sixty 
to uh, some of these coins are just rough. 84, 94, 85, 17, uh, 77, 2012, 2012, 2006, 1990, 64, Philly, 74, 16, 2002, 63, Denver, um, looks normal, 69, 2006, 74, 24, 11, 97, 17, 71, Denver. Come on, I need that buffalo. I need that buffalo. 273, 89. 2013 has a possibility of a DDR, but the 2013 has the um, incorrect handshake as well. 2017, 69 S, 58, but it looks rough. 64, 16, 69, 70, 74, 98. 2,498, 90, 73, 15, 14, 12. Heck, I'll even take a, another silver at this point. I mean, if this box is gonna is gonna kick up some more silver, I'll definitely uh, I'll definitely take it. Seventy-two, fourteen, fifteen, seventy-four, sixty-four, Denver. Looking for RPM and nope. 2011, 98, 77, 2011, 2018, and 88. Give me one second. Okay. All right, three rolls left. Let's do this. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. 62, 18, 95, 75D, 17, Philadelphia, um, wrecked, one, 74. That's in 70, 70, 15, 15, 70, 98, 4. What's up, Spitfire? How you doing? 66. 66 has some die deterioration on it. Decent strike. No doubling that I can see. Next. That's a 5. That's a 5. That's a 64 Denver. Seventy six, two thousand five, eight four, twenty eight, nine, sixteen, fifteen, eighty four, eighty five. Seventy-four, seventy-five, two thousand 
2075. <laughs> Ship you in a in a big crate, food and water. All right, last roll, guys. Oh. Almost had the coins going everywhere. Sixty-four, eighty-six, Philadelphia, eighty-three, two thousand six, seven ninety-nine, ninety-nine, five ninety-eight, two thousand six. What's up, Paula? Um, after, after I get done with this roll, we're going to do a giveaway, um, and then, uh, um, uh, gonna hang out after that, I'll open with some mail, um, so if, uh, if anybody, I have hangouts up, so if anybody wants to come up, um, then you're more than welcome to, more than welcome to. Well, I'm looking at it. Dude, Frank, that's a that's a good-looking penny, dude. That's a good-looking penny, that's for sure. 26, 2018, 2015. 11. Doesn't look like this box is going to give us a, uh, a buffalo nickel. That's all she wrote. Okay, so we ended this this box with a 2019 Philadelphia, a 2019 Denver, um, a 2009 Denver, um, two silver war nickels, and a 2014 double die double die reverse. So that is a that is a, a great box. I'll take that all day long. With uh, one of the uh, one of the silver nickels possibly having a um, a repunch mint mark, so that'll be cool. <sighs> okay, you guys ready for a giveaway? I think it's good timing too. So this is what we're giving away. Um, I found this coin roll hunting, but this is a 2004 Denver. Um, this is the piece reverse, and I don't know if it's the colors coming through, um, but it is gold plated. I believe it's gold plated. That's definitely the color, it, but it's a uh, it's plated for sure, um, and it's a it's a beautiful piece. And I found that um, in a roll actually. So that's what we're going to give away today. Do, 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 do. It's pretty, it's shiny. So, give me one second here. What's up, Hector? Good timing. Just doing a, uh, just getting ready to do a giveaway okay so it's gonna be trivia and uh and it's about the 20 cent piece so some of you guys that already know something about the 20 cent piece you might have a little bit uh, a little bit of uh, heads up on this so the 20 cent piece and so first one first one in my chat that that has a uh, that has the right answer uh i'm gonna i'm gonna send this to you so the 20 cent piece was also called this. It had another name other than the 20 cent piece. What was it called? Uh, 
a coin. <laughs> Half quarter? No. Coin dragon. Knew you were gonna get it. I got I got coin dragon first. Um, so it was called a double dime. <laughs> That you, or if you guessed, then that was that was a pretty solid guess. So I, I've, yeah, yeah, that's so it was uh, it was called a doubled dime, um, or a double dime, not doubled, but a double dime. So congratulations, Frank. Um, I'm gonna send this to you, buddy. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's one of those those cool things that uh, um, that the twenty cent piece. Um, you know, a little bit of history that, uh, you know, they they didn't call it the, a 20 cent piece or a 20 cent or they, they called it a, a double dime um, at the time. So, yeah, uh, almost a quarter. Yeah, almost a quarter is right. So this this goes to uh, to coin dragon. Congratulations, buddy. And you guys learn something, so that's that's the key. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna clean this up real fast, um, and uh, then I'm gonna do ship it to Amy. Okay, I'll send that to Amy. Congratulations, Amy. You you get a you get a free uh, a plated Jefferson nickel. Um, I'm gonna grab this box from uh, uh, from blues coins I, he may still be here um then uh if anybody wants to come up on uh, on hangouts uh let me know and i'll kick you a link and we'll just hang out for a little bit so i'll be right back um if you want a link let me know so i can kick that to you now i'll be right back Bill, you want up? You on? Uh, do I have you on Facebook, Bill? You can email me. Okay. You email me, I will. Uh, I'll send it to you. Thank you, Linda. Thanks for coming in. Okay, Amy. 
Yeah, just uh, send me your address and uh, I'll hold on to it until uh, until you tell me that you're ready for it, and then I will kick it out to you. So this package comes from. Blues coins. I'm trying not to uh, not to cut my finger off, because you know that would be bad. There we go. Okay, Bill. So he packed this real good. Um, so uh, Blues and I have been uh, emailing or mailing each other coins um, for. Um, oh, nice. Uh, for each other's albums. Um, basically is, is we've been going kind of back and forth. So yeah, it's been, uh, it's been really interesting that, uh, I would send him coins and he would send me coins and then I sent him coins and now he sent me coins. So I sent him some, uh, some quarters to, um, holy cow. There's an entire list of stuff in here. Um, he sent me some, uh, Wow, here we go. Oh, this is a party. Man, look at this. This is cool. What's up, John Salisbury? Okay, so the first thing in here is a 1970D. Um, so this one only came in the mint sets. And the reason why um, that uh, I was saying that I, that I probably need it is that it would go into the out the uh, little folder that I have of my Kennedy half dollars. And uh, this one has that little, that little pop out um, that says only come in mint sets. So I'm going to take that out and then put this coin in there. And then my um, my uh, my Kennedy book is going to be 100% filled with no holes. So that's that's really cool. I can't wait to do that. I got this uh, this penny roll sitting right here, and it's here's here's the list. Um, so there's five 1963. What's up, Bill? How you doing? Yeah, I gotta go through emails. I'm on a tablet. Okay. Um, the scent roll has uh, sixty. Can... What's up? The computer. You don't need an email. Yeah, if you if you just um, you you can pull it up on a. Uh... Um, on just a uh, uh, browser, but if you're using a tablet, you probably have to open it in uh, the application. Yeah, the email. The only way I did it on the tablet is through email, not through the link. The link, I think, only works on a computer. Oh, okay. 
so Blue sent me this roll of uh, this roll of pennies, and he's got a list. He says uh, that there's five 1963 P's, um, five 2018 Phillies, five 1964 Phillies, um, five 1970, 1971, 1980 Phillies, five 1974 S's, five 1983 D's, five 1974 D's, and five 1972 S's. And they're all BU by the looks of it. Um, so that would be interesting to get into that and see. Because um, I, I believe that is going to do a, uh, a chunk in, a, in an album for sure. Um, yeah, so that that'll be cool. So there's that. Um, then I got a bunch of wrapped coins and I have no idea what they are. So let's, let's get into this and see what we can figure out. See if I can open these without uh, without trying to hurt myself. Um, okay, so first batch is we have um, 2009s. Um, these are um, what are these? These are the presidencies. Oh, okay. So these are uh, these are. Um, um, basically, BUs that he sent me because I, I I was I was talking about putting uh, putting some sets together. So I bet you, I bet you these other ones are. They look like proofs to me. The camera's a little blurry, but they look like proofs. Are they or no? No, they're they're just, they're just BU. Yeah, but, I, okay. but they're but they're I nice. Rolls to them. I um here's what I got. Look what I got. I'll show you from. Colorized nickels. I want to put some of the um keel boat. What do they call them? The um westward journey. Yeah, the westward journey nickels. I got like um proofs in them and regular. I got tons of um B rolls of west. Not tons, but a lot of them. Let me put my uh, show you these. Where am I at now? Yeah, I got a lot of them. The colorized. I got them before. I had the. I got a set of these from before. From I bought. Can you see them? Yeah. Yeah, I got these from Cheap Skate. Cool. Auction. And he sent me proof nickels, which were the 205s. 204 proofs. Um. These are the proofs, the Fs. Look at that thing. Man, those are pretty. Yeah. Those are real pretty. They are the kill boat. They are sharp. And what I need I'll explain well it's good that I I need to make some kind of holder to make up sets. Now this two oh six S is included in the set I think. Um, I got a two hundred one proof and a seventy one proof. I'll show you what I what I did with the other ones I got. Yeah, those those proofs are uh, are beautiful. For sure. I know. I didn't. I wasn't thinking a year, years that they were. I wasn't thinking that they were the keel boats. I got them for a good price. Now, I gotta buy a mess and see what I paid a dollar for this thing. But I gotta either buy some more of these. This is a gold plated one for my other ones. See. Okay. Yeah. 
but I need something made up like this or buy some of these, so buy some more and put the colorized ones in. My coin shop gets them in, you know, they're only 10 cents to every, you know, the holders is what I want. I made one up of platinum, played it. It looks like silver, you know? Yeah. So I want to... I want to make something up with a proof, with the proof, you know, and you know, things will sell, whatever. That would be something that there's, there's either something out there, or if I have the dimensions, we can three D print something to fit inside those cases. If you can take them apart, I don't know if yeah, they're, if they're, I if they're like. My I got the mic. Gate this thing here for well, what's your dimension in a nickel? Um, wait, how many of them is there? There's um, there's field. there's four there's four different reverses. Yeah, and but five if you want, and the nickel itself is one with what with um Jefferson. Let me see. I'll show you what year that one is. This one, the two o six. That's one. Oh, okay. Um, what do you need? The um, it, the 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 biggest thing that I would need is just the dimensions on the holder itself, on the inside dimensions. That the number one the number one question is, is um, is that something that can be easily taken apart or is it sealed together? Yeah, took it apart. Okay. Yep. This is only felt. So I would need the thickness of that felt because it's got to it's got to fit between, you know, b between the two pieces. So it's yeah, probably going to be what, like, like two that, two millimeters. Yeah, I'll mic it right now. Let me get my my notebook so I can write it down. I got around two point two. Wait a minute, it's about, it's, yeah, about two millimeters, 2.1, 2.2 in there, you know. Okay, so what's, uh, what's, uh, length and width? All right, the width is ba ba basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to recreate that felt piece. And then I'm gonna put holes in it on however many holes that we need to fit that, and then I could just three, three D print it out. Put this on inches. We got like three point oh nine inches. Three point oh eight. Three ten. I'm going to put it loosely. It's about 310. Okay. Three and a tenth, that would be, I guess. I don't know. I used to remember all that when I used to cut paper. But we use. All right. Now, this side is easier with a roar than this thing. Tape measure. Wait, I'm going to get a tape measure. This thing is. Let me see. This is like 5.3, what would that be, 5, 5.31, let me take measure that, that thing is good for that. <laughs> Realists are good too. Yeah, I've got uh, I've got calipers for uh, for most of my stuff, um, just because I'll, uh, like all of the designing that I do is in millimeters. So I have to some some of the things that I do I have to run calipers on just to get the get the finite details out of it. All right, this is millimeters. This tape measure. It's about. 
13 and a half. One. Wait. Let me see what I've got here. I think this is five and a um about five and a quarter. It doesn't eight. Five one two three. Five and four marks after the five. Each mark would be a sixteenth right or an eighth. Yeah, it depends on your tape measure. Yeah, alright. It's about five and um about a quarter, about a little under five and a half inches. Okay. It's 13 and a half millimeters. That's good. Yeah, 13 and a half millimeters. Yeah. All right, let me see what I get on here. Let me switch this over. All right, I'll come to compare it to, I'll get the measurement of this thing. Yeah, I got 135 millimeters, 13.5, yeah, thir yeah. 13.5 centimeters? Yeah, 135. Point eight, hundred thirty-four point nine. I mean, yeah. something like that. Yeah. Here, I could do the case better. You need the inside of the case where it fits. Yeah. That I know this. I could do that one better than that. Let me see. I haven't measured it so damn long. All right. That's um, 135.2 millimeters. Okay, 135. Okay, what's uh, what's the height right. on it? That's the width. We get the height is um, a loose bit about 79.5 millimeters. 79.5. Yeah. Yeah, at seven nine point five. So what yeah, would that, that be? In that should be pretty easy. This thing was here. This battery goes. I don't know where I'm gonna get them at. It's easy to take them out on this thing. I used to mic paper. I used to be big in printing, micing the blanket thickness, the back cylinder thickness. Right. Now, when you put a new blanket on, you got to put the right packing on it by specs. And you know, use your little micrometers for paper. You get the paper thickness. Yeah. You mic the blankets. To, you got to measure the roll. I mean, I wasn't into the roller. That was more high tech. You get roller wear for some parts of the, keep the um, plate watered up so it wouldn't, to keep the ink even and the plate even. You got to have the right. If the roar wore in certain areas, you have to get it redone, you know. But mostly I like paper and um, blankets and put the right packing on the blankets for the back still under pressure to spec whatever. 3.13 inches is what I got for the... Um, The length, you know, the width, and the length is um, 5.32 inches. I don't know if that makes sense with the millimeters. Okay, I can I can convert it because uh, yeah. the 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 tool that I use I can I can design it in inches and then then just convert it to millimeters. 
So I can. What thanks you thanks for stopping well, in, John. Well, you notice they're comfort to the nickels and all that. So. Yeah, that that, that problem that, that's that dimension is easy to get to. Yeah, that. I mean, I'm good at that. But that's what this is mainly made for. What are they about five? No, twenty one point two millimeters in a thickness. This is accurate to one point seven millimeters. The thickness of the nickel, yeah, it's about right. But I don't know if you could fit five, I guess you could fit five nickels in here, or four. But putting them in plastic, they would have to be a, would have to be like a, um, like a rubber gasket, like you get in a direct fit holders. But that would be too much. It wouldn't be worth doing all that work for this, you know. But, you know. Hello, I can't see the chat. Let me get on the phone. All right, Coin Dragon. Have a good day, man. Coin Dragon, take it off. All right. <coughs> oh, bless you. Thank you. All right. Oh. Yeah, I've been getting um 2019 pennies and mixed rolls. I've been getting no rolls of them. I've been getting 2019 nickels and nines are fat on all the nickels I've been getting to date. Um, that's a, that's that's a design because they're, uh, they're the same. They're the same way on the on the pennies. All right, and I've been getting dimes, but. Not my, I haven't gotten no rolls of them. Yeah. Yeah, because when when the when the 2019 um, pennies came out, there was there was a lot of conversation about uh, possible doubling on the nine, um, but it was on every single coin. So they they determined that it was it was just part of the design. Yeah, it'd be too, wouldn't be worth nothing. There's too many out to get. Yeah, when every that. single coin has the same extra thick nine. Now, why they design the extra thickness on the nine? No idea. the The way I figure is they designed it extra thick so that when they ran the dies as hard as they have on the nick, especially the nickels, then it would show less signs of. Um, of die deterioration. Oh, all right. That's that. That's what I figure. But you know, who knows? Yeah, the the mint's coming out. I think on the twenty fifth with a coin currency set and um the Susquehanna dollar and a dollar and a currency. That's good. I'm getting that this month. There's a 5,000 minty to limit. Yeah, Blues was talking about that the other day. Yeah, good. I got the, um, the notification. I would like to get that enhanced. 
Silver Eagle with the uh, maple, but it's a little too much. The Canadian set, I think, has a lower mintage on the maple. The Canada has a set, and the mint has one. I'll tell you one thing. Like I'm not, I'm not heavy into bullion by by any means, but there is one set um, that is the Germania set. The uh, yeah. the red, the blue, and the red, the blue, and there's another color. But man, they, man, those things are beautiful. Yeah, they are. Um, I don't even know if they're a coin or a round. I think they're it's, around. It's around. Yeah. All but right. still, man, they are man, they are beautiful. So if I can get my hands on on one of those, especially the blue one, if I had if I had any of them, I would I would pick up the blue one just because of how striking the color is. It is just just gorgeous. Can you still get them? Yeah, somewhere. You just got to find where. Now, what's up with this innovation gold dollar with the mint? The one that's going to be in the enhanced with the dollar coin and currency is going to be the space one with the, with the, um, I think the lady's Indian was, um, Native American Indian that did all the, um, mathematical figures for the missions um where is that at? the coin and currency i know well i i i remember seeing something i i didn't read into it but um i know that they had changed the um the design of the innovations because when they first came out with the innovations it was basically a Statue of Liberty, and then like the rest of it was just blank. Yeah, and, I got and, that and one. people were like, "What is this garbage? Like, it's supposed to be innovations, and it's blank. Like, like how was that even? You know, how is that even a coin?" Yeah, here it is: a Native American dollar coin and currency. It's fifteen ninety five. It'll be on sale on the twenty fourth at noon. Um, they have usually on all these sets, they have an Indian person on the back, of course, but it's enhanced. That one's going to be the coin. And you get a dollar note with, um, serial, you get a 2017 dollar bill note with 1959 to correspond to the launch year of the, uh, a Gen a Gina spacecraft shown on a coin. Yeah, I got the twenty seventeen and twenty eighteen coin and currency set. But the dollar enhanced is beautiful. I love to get that freaking silver eagle enhanced. That's worth half the money but I don't got 140 for both coins so here's that uh, here's that 70 that I got for the Kennedy so I'll take this out and I'll pop out the no coins were harmed in the making of this album so pop this piece out yeah, I got the um, Dansko half dollar one, the Kennedy half. That's that's just a beautiful half dollar, though. I mean, it's you know, it's it's basically like like an uncirculated, but oh, it just... I just put a um, I just put one in a two by. That's all I did yesterday was put all these coins in two by twos. Um, where's the half? I got a seventy half. So there is my full set of the uh, the first half of the Kennedys, and then here is the second half of the Kennedys. There's the seventy day. That ain't too bad. I've seen better, you know, out of sets, but it's good for that. You know, it's got marking on it. Right. Yeah, I put all them in. 
my farm coin. See you later, Lincoln. Oh. Hello, Amy. Amy says that she likes the innovations coin. Okay. Yeah, I'm reading. Yeah, there's only seven in here now. Yeah, I got. I want to do an auction, man. I got so much stuff around here that I probably got a coin shop in here. <laughs> It's like, it's not, you know, all silver, but it's just all kind of mix sets and group sets and. Sounds like, uh, sounds like most of us. <laughs> yeah, this stuff is adding up. Here's the, um, I had a box of proof sets. Um. I don't know what to do with half of this, but sell it on here. I ain't going to get nothing from the LCS. Our coin club, was, which I don't think they're going to do. They want to get outside vendors in to um do a coin show where we hold our coin meeting. But um, one person said when he lived at another in Arizona, he said their coin club used to um have the people that belong to the club bring their stuff in and learn how to sell and buy from people. So I hope they do that. So I'll go there and I could bring my stuff in. I'll have a table and we could sell and trade amongst each other instead of getting outside vendors to do a coin right. show. Yeah, here's the um Blank Planche, as Ken calls it. It just, it, it kills me that they have that much real estate on the front of the coin, and it's, and it's like three quarters blank. Yes, it's, I don't know. Yeah, and it has edge lettering, right? Yeah, or no? Yeah, it does. See, they should have took the lettering off the edge and put it on the top or something. But see, they got to go through, change all their um, equipment and everything else to do that, I guess. I don't know. Amy says that it's a minimalistic design, not for everybody. Well, I understand if it's minimalistic, but like I, 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 it's something that I've talked about before on about coin design is I, I really think that we have lost our art on coins. Like it is becoming so institutionalized that, um, that all of the hurdles and all of the legal stuff that they have to go through just to approve a design on a coin that we've lost the artist that like the true artistic, not artists coming up with modern designs, but like true art on coins. Well, I think the, um, the, the bison nickel don't get enough credit. That's pretty nice. You know, and some of them are pretty nice. The two oh what year was the bice? Yeah, I got it right here. Two thousand five. Yeah, I mean Ocean and View, these don't get enough credit like they should. I mean that's a pretty Which, nice uh, design, I have I have I, I have no issues a... with like um like a lot of the designs that because trying to take a picture of something and then scale it down to the to the to the size of a you know of a, of a nickel is not easy by any means and i 100% back them for being able 
to come across, you know, to, to be able to, um, to design a scene um, that is, you know, that looks decent on the back of the coin because the way that they are producing the designs, they have basically a picture of it as it looks like on the coin, but the picture is like, you know, eight and a half by 11. Like the transition yeah, from that down to an actual thing. coin is, yeah. is a process all in itself. And they approve the design as it sits on a piece of paper. So it can, it can change from the design that they approve on a piece of paper to the way it looks on a coin. Um, yeah. but like, I, I, I just, I wish that there was more homage to some of the original designs like that. The bison was a throwback to the Buffalo nickel and that's, that's great. I love it. I would like to see something that is maybe like on the nickel that throws back to like the shield. Um, because you have all the nice, you know, you have, uh, you have the shield bars, you have, you know, like the Union Shield, you have the uh, the Fury on it. Like, there's all of these intricate parts, and I, I really, I want to see something like that as maybe a modern, like, homage to, you know, to the history of our coinage on something modern. Yeah, like when they came out with the ATB, you know, that's when I got into coin collecting the, um... The owner of the coin shop, he didn't believe they were making a five ounce quarter, you know? The five ounce versions of the ATBs. See, if you look at the design on a five ounce version as supposed as on as on a quarter, they look a lot better. You know? Right. I'll show you what I mean. I got a whole the twenty eleven set. You know, you can see the big difference in the design. Now, look at the difference. This is the 2011 set. And I have one specimen. Let's see. This is um, proof like. Now, right. see, they put, they, from there to a quarter. You know, they designed a lot of these to look better on a five ounce one and on a quarter, I think, on some well, of them. It, well, no, it's, it is the design that they approved on a scale slightly bigger than that. And it's on a piece of paper. And that that's the that's how they approve the designs. So when you up, like approve the way that a design looks on a piece of paper that is eight and a half by 11, when you take that and you shrink it down to three quarters of an inch, it could drastically change how the design actually comes out. Yeah. Now, with with it's those funny. being a lot bigger, there's not as much, um, not as much uh, distortion between the original approved design on a piece of paper down to you know a, a five inch disc. Yeah, I don't know. I see they design it on a big clay mold and they put it on a big mold and they make it smaller and smaller as they go, I guess, you know. Like, here's the specimen. Here's the one you buy from the Met. That's a nice satin finish. I, li I like the satin finish. Yeah, this has got the P Met mark. I had the 2012 set. I made out, I got made out on that and part of the 2013, but this is the only one I got left. The only one that, my local coin shop wants to give me a hundred and something a piece for these, like 120 a piece. I ain't going to do that. I mean, I'd sell them maybe for a hundred, I got to do an auction, you know, and get like at least 150 to 200 a piece. 
I bought these when silver was up to 20 something an ounce back in 2010 or 20, yeah, 2011. But, um, well, at least I had 25 ounces to the stock. <laughs> That's about it. Yeah. You know. Thanks for dropping in, Hector. Here's what I did yesterday. I put my farms. I sat here all day, man. Board. This is a nice one. Austria. Five shillings. Yeah. Five shilling Austria. Two Boulevard, which is, I think, a 20 cent emote. Or grammos, ten grammos is two bull, two bullets, two bull of us. That's five. That's a silver weight. I, I'm just trying to figure out how they do that. These are cool. That's the Irani coin. The only one I got. International bought a lot of these. Have you seen those videos with the bigger ones? And a lot of Venezuelas. I gotta, I gotta go back through and reorganize my, um, my, my foreign coins, um, just so that I have a better idea of what I have because I have everything. All my foreign coins are documented through my uh, Numista account. Oh yeah, I got but mine as, on Ucoin. As far as like organizing them, like in physical space, dude, it's it's everywhere. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where to start. And uh, oh, these are all these are the silver ones, but I got bags of the other ones. Um, I get a bag every time I go to the coin shop. You know, these are from Brian, I think. But I picked up about a. Like a bag this size, I go through the buckets, buckets of them there. Yeah. I got tubes of these, the one penny. I pick out the coppers. They're beautiful and a proof. I got a USA, UK set over there waiting on hold. Are you near a local coin shop or yeah i got uh i got mine uh that's uh that's basically downtown from me uh which is like 10 minutes away 10 to 15 minutes all right yeah sometimes like i got three around here i use one of them but and my around where I'm at, we got like I got to get a car. We got like four or five coin meetings in a month going on here, and I mean coin shows. And I never been to one of them. I've been to printing shows and paper mills, but not never a coin show. Um, yeah, I was big into printing. I was dedicated to that field. That's how I can relate to um the way money is printed and stamps, and I relate printing to coins in a way. You know, machinery, basically right. all the same. But you know, I put the I got a a seven. Wait, he was up. Air one I got these I this I got from Ken. I put all these were in the flips and some of them flips you don't know what they're made you know I had coins in these for twelve years and they look good as a day put them in there now here's the design you like this is not a good example but that one right yeah the shield yeah that's a like about good <laughs> i bought it because i don't have one but 
you know. Yeah, the, the, the shields are, are really hard to come across in, in decent condition just because of obviously the age and the design, like they're like they get they get worn out quick. Yeah. But some of those like some of those you can be can be picked up for you know e even around twenty dollars in in like a like a VG or like a you know like a fine and uh, man there's there's all kinds of there's there's great doubled dies that you can find um, on those shields that stick out I mean they that yeah. and like if if possible I mean a lot of people know the difference between this the small model and the large model but Man, if somebody really doesn't know the difference, and you could pick up a small motto for yes. you know for that under. I don't know much about on uh, some coin like the shield nickels. I don't know much about them. I mean, I don't know everything. <laughs> yeah, I heard the expression "small motto." What? That's on the um the other the ones without the five on them, correct? Or the back. So on top of the shield, there's a ribbon that has the motto on it. Oh, and the it motto says, is so the... it, in in God on one side, and then yeah, we trust on the other side. So the uh, the the typeface between uh, the God um, between the small and, and large motto is the easiest way to, to tell the difference uh, okay, between it's small, like a small or large type. Like on the eagle, you got your small letter, large letter, basically. Or whatever they you yeah all right I can't even read that on this one's all messed up. Let's see if they, I think uh, they might have a picture in the uh, in the book. Let's see. Yeah, certain coins I don't know much about, like the large cents. You know, there's a cornet heads and the float. There's different types. The cornet and I mean I could I. Ain't gonna, um, you know, if I put all that in my mind, I'll be too much, be overloaded. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. It's it's the two cent pieces that have the largest small motto. All right. Here we go. What I was thinking it? shield because it's got the it's got like the shield on it, but in in the red book, this is your small motto and this is your large motto. So, oh, okay. but it's it's one of those things that if you can find one of the small mottos for like under 50 bucks then that's something that you could basically just steal because those things the small mottos like even in what? a good in, in a good four is like two hundred dollars all right I'm so if somebody is is selling them and they really don't know what they what, what they are then that's that's the one you got to look for so the way i look at it is that you look at the uh at the typeface between the um Either the G or the D, um, be, if depending on what you can tell. So the G on or the D on the small motto has like extra, um, like extra. What do you call them? Um, serifs on it, Sarah. and then the D is more. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's easy um, to And then the D on the large motto has yeah has the uh, the the. The vertical uh, sections as being thick, and the horizontal sections as being really thin. So, all right, yeah, they're easy to tell. That's, that's that's just one way. I can get decent coin, like seated dimes, dimes and stuff between twenty and thirty dollars in the at my local coin shop. Um, I got a lot of nice half dollar. Barbers for like twenty four dollars a piece, you know. But um, there's some things, you know. Depends what what you know. I luck out sometimes if I have the money. We're gonna get rain here soon. It is humid. I don't, one thing I don't like to be around coins when it's hot out. Now these I just started learning the flying eagles when I bought that one from you. Yep. You know, and then I started buying them. 
you know, the, then I look up the snow for, I just learned all that. I didn't know none of that stuff. You know, you got your whole life to learn all this stuff. I mean, you can't <laughs> learn everything at once, you know, I mean. I so I, 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 I took I took my flyer to a whole different level because um, I I ended up buying a, a seated quarter um, specifically because I believe and I won't know until I get it in hand but I believe that it it is the clash the clash to die with the flying eagle. Uh, all right. Yeah. See, there's a lot of different. Them older presses have all that. Different. So, but it, it would be the seat. The seated quarter is the one that um, um, uh, is the snow. Was it snow nine or oh, snow he does eight? Quarters to the snow examples are on the quarters. Speaking of that thing you got, here's a thing I got at my coin meeting, and I don't, I know whoever's into pennies would be interested. Snow 8. Snow 8 is the quarter clash. So I have example of the Snow 8 that has the clash on, on, the, uh, on the reverse, but I'm hoping, uh, I'm really hoping that this, that this, uh, this quarter, this seated quarter that I got, is the other clash die between the um, the quarter and the cent okay. dies? Is there one out there? Is there's one there? Yes, they they have identified a die for the seated quarters that does carry the the flying eagle clash. Uh, all right, I got this piece of literature here. Where did I put it? It's about pennies. Um, and I've been getting these books. They're like a version of the um, gray sheet. Here they are, like a bad penny it is. I think it's an article somebody wrote. Oh, this is from, a lot of them, one guy that belongs to that coin club, he goes to the, um, to the Anna American Domestic Association has these big things in New York. It's like a hundred dollars a seat and they have these, um, guest speakers, you know, up in the high society part of, you know, high class up in New York. And, you know, they have all kind of cool stuff going on up there. But, yeah, it's like a bad penny. Ancient new mystic. Yeah, this is it here. Somebody brought that in. I think it's from the, um, a museum and a school or something started a coin museum i got i forget but i got i gave everybody a copy it has all kind of ancient coins in it i yeah. don't know so many Oh, it tells you what the numistic word means. That's a study of paper coins, money tokens, and metals and stuff. Numistic. I think this was one of the guys' wives did this or something. They have a coin museum somewhere. They started in a school or something. I don't know. I don't have to read the thing. I don't know. But, you know, belonging to them coin things, you learn a lot. You know, a lot of cool stories. One guy there, he's into metals. I mean, metals, he writes stuff about metals. Cause you get a metal, an older metal, there's no, you can't look it up nowhere. There's nothing on the metals. 
out right. there. I'm starting to write about him to keep history on it. He's an older guy. He's been collecting his whole life. And, you know, there's all kind of cool people. Things right around the corner from my house, and I joined it a year ago. I guess it was time for me to join. You know, back when I first started collecting, I just went, was into the silver, gold, mostly the silver, you know. I wasn't caring about pennies and stuff. But I switched all that up. Okay, so would you go through all your nickels already, or...? Yeah. Yeah, that was uh that was a whole box. So um I still think that this that this one Philadelphia is a uh oh. is a repunchment mark. But uh I compared it against a variety of uh, variety of vista um but could not uh could not uh, to determine that it was a oh. no a known um RPM. But uh I, I still think it's an RPM the way the way that it looks. Um, so I'll just set it aside and I'll come back to it later. But then the, the 43 right. Denver, um, I don't think it is an RPM. I got, went through my quarters and I got a cherry picker, cherry picker guide with not the pennies and it's a volume two one. And I have 66 quarters with a double die reverse. I'm going to see if I have one of them. Blues was saying that uh, that that second volume is like dang near impossible to get now. It is. I got it for free. The library where we have our coin meeting at, they give them books for the coin, you know, the place where they have the meeting at. They give them the books that they find that they don't want anymore. And you can't find this one anymore, huh? The uh the, the second volume of the cherry pickers guide um is 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 going for some serious money ever since um five S or or Stanton that, passed. Yeah. I can't remember which one. Yeah, he passed away. I heard that at my coin meeting someone to deal with the deals in that. So to find a like a fifth or sixth um edition volume two is like over sixty to seventy dollars online. There's there's one guy that was selling it on fourth. on Amazon for like two thousand dollars. This is fourth edition. I got okay. A Whitman. I don't know much about him, but it was there. I took it. I want to try to see if I could find something to put at that question and Q and A thing tonight if they have it. I wanna show it. Yeah. I'm I'm learning this stuff here. This is all I you know, I was never into this stuff here. This is, you know, new not new to me. I knew what errors and all were, but you know, as far as getting books on it. The world coin book I got that's it look 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 that looks like a phone book. Man, getting all. This is a cool one here. The 94 handbook. That's the blue book. Yeah. And I got this one I bought at my coin shop photo grade. I like the black and white photo grade books as opposed to the color ones for I me. Do have I have a know. photo grade book around here. I don't use it that much um, just because I like using um, PCGS's website for photo grade. But yeah, like, it, 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 it depends on some of the designs because there are some coins um, on there that they have pictures of, of, of the grades. And like there's like there's one it's like a flying eagle or or something like that where there is like a fine that looks worse than a very good um and it's just it's like man like how how can you have more wear on a fine and it be grading out a fine versus like so, so some of the pictures i don't feel like uh, match up 
No, no, but, no, no. Uh, some of them I don't. They're hard because the coins like black and white, and they're color pictures. Right. I mean, you know. This flash the torch app is a good app for a phone. Has macro focus. I think I found it. The sixty six. DDR. FS twenty five or uh, yeah, I full I gotta read what them initials mean. Eight oh one a conic at one R one I got all these freaking I don't know if I found that. Wow, that goes for a lot of money. Varieties. I don't know. This one is this quarter ain't in the best shape. I don't know, I'm just guessing at it now a little bit. Now nah, this ain't the double die, I don't think. See, I'm looking for the um. Does that look doubling on his S to you? This might be hard to tell. See that? I got some girl on my printer right here. That's, that's gonna oh, okay. All right. What the hell? The quarter's all beat up. It like it ran over itself, and then it started to like clip on over itself so the top of this just completely just decimated oh well shoot okay all right all right yeah, look, so, do that oh you're talking to somebody all right no i'm just talking to myself what do you got there's supposed to be a double die reverse See that on the S. I don't know if you could tell through this. Looks like damage. There's a huge scratch, right? Like a roller mark right through that area. Yeah, it's a quarter's destroyed. Not in the best shape. I'm just trying to find what the price they have it for. These are not from the SMS set. Um... Here they got 300 for an AU55 for this one. I don't know. I wouldn't pay that. But yeah. I'm just trying to find them and on anything, you know, then get an idea what to look for. And yeah, these are trash. The best one I got is a 70D. What? Man, it is human. Here, let me put that air on. Hey, Bill, I got to take off, dude. Yeah, all right. Yeah. I got to get some... Uh got to get some errands done today. But uh, yeah, thanks for coming on, bud. Over here. Yeah, no problem. I appreciate it. All right. Take care. Yeah. See ya. All right. Let me turn this off. All right, guys. I'm going to take off. Uh, thank you, Bill, for coming up uh, onto, uh, onto the panel here. Um, hanging out with me. Thank you, guys, that, uh, that are still... Uh, Still hanging around in the background, so I appreciate you guys dropping in and uh, hanging out with me as I do, uh, as I did uh, live uh, live nickels and uh, mail call. 
and hanging out. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks for stopping by.